Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your love reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So let's get started on your reading. Please remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. Know that the cards represent energies that any gender can embody, all right? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us. Ah, Two of Pentacles. All right. What's going on in your love life? Tell us more when it comes to what's going on in your romantic life. Love reading, Holy Spirit. Thank you for guiding us. First card out is the Two of Pentacles. Then you have the Queen of Wands. Tell us more about this message. Tell us more about this message. Tell us more about this message. You have justice. Wow. It's like you're taking back your power. You're taking back control. Two of Pentacles is a really great management. Two of Pentacles represents um, management skills or managing uh, resources. But I feel like it's you taking, taking back your power and now you have control over your life. Um... The Two of Pentacles is also about balance and stability. And I feel like you're juggling several things in your life, but with balance, okay? Um, and it's taking great skills as well as power to do this because I feel like things were getting out of control, out of hand in your life. Tell us more about this message. Hmm... Tell us more about this message. Tell us more about this message. You have the lovers. Tell us more about this message. You have the six of pentacles. Oops. You have the knight of wands paired with the devil. Wow. Hmm. So much trick, like there's trickery involved here. Let's use the Gilded Reverie deck. So much trickery here. Like you don't know who's doing what. Yeah, number four. So the number four is the house card. Um, this could be something happening within a house, within your home, within a building, within an establishment, institution. Um, the house card could also talk about your long-term security and stability as well. I just feel like there was a lack of balance and things were getting out of control. And so you needed to take control of the situation. Yeah, there was a lot of chaos within this house. Okay, whether this is like your home, whether this is like an apartment building, an office, company, institution, establishment, there was so much um, disorder, so much disorder and conflict and it looks like with number 36, you know, you were, it was a burden. You you got brought into a, me a messy situation. I feel like you are innocent, but you got dragged into a chaotic situation is what I'm trying to say. So it it's like you went through a lot with, with 36, the cross. Um, it's, it's pain, it's grief, it's burdens, it's baggage. I feel like you got dragged into something here, but you were innocent. Death. Major endings that lead to transformations. Whatever you got dragged into, I feel like it stops with you. Whoever was causing the, the disorder and instability, I feel like they're no longer there. Like they, there's a death, whether it's a physical death, a spiritual death, but they're, they are experiencing an ending and the hangman is releasing, surrendering and letting go. They've been hung by the foot. So they have to leave. They have to leave. It could have been a third party that was causing this disorder, chaos. They have to go. You definitely needed to, you did the right thing to assert yourself and take charge of the situation, 
10 of swords and a five of cups. And I want you to know that the damage that they caused, it, it was unsuccessful. They didn't cause the kind of damage like how they really wanted to because you stepped in before the damage could be caused. Um, that's why the five of cups is in the reverse. This is something that can be reconciled. This is something that can be fixed because, it, and, it, and again, it's because you said something, you asserted yourself, you stood up for yourself before the enemy could really cause this sort of damage. I feel like the moment you 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 stood your ground, it it made them it made the enemy realize that they had to back down. Someone here is experiencing a major ending here. They've been let go of. They've either been asked to leave, they've been um or they've been dismissed or they've had to resign, okay? Or it's a spiritual death, okay? Hopefully it's not literal death. Um, but who knows how karma wants to handle this person because they were causing a whole lot of instability in this establishment inst institution. Um, that's just what we're going to call it, establishment, institution, whatever, or in this house. We're just going to call it a house and take it how it resonates. They were causing so much in um, instability that it was negatively negatively affecting other people. That's the thing. And you got caught up in it. But the five of cups is in the reverse. And I can clarify that to you because I, it, it means not all has not been lost. You know, the, the ace of wands is here, which is a passionate new beginning. And spirit is saying that your passionate new beginning was not touched. It was not harmed. Um, but they wanted to. They wanted to come in between that. Absolutely. They wanted to come in between that. But your your passionate new beginning still stands your blessing still stands. No one was able to uh, get in between that. So all has not been lost. That's why the five of cups is in the reverse. I'm happy to see that for you. Um, but I feel like the enemy did want you to take a loss with the ten of swords here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit is saying that the consequences will be extreme for the people who participated in this. The consequences will be extreme. They're being moved away. So you don't have to worry about these people anymore the consequences will be extreme i feel like they're being dismissed they're being removed asked to leave resign something like that um <clears throat> wow it's like you took on burdens that weren't really yours like it wasn't your responsibility to to, to have to take charge here it's almost like there was so much disorder. It's like you stepped into someone's house and then you had to bring in the order. Like you stepped into someone's house and they had children who were misbehaving and you had to discipline. You, you had to bring in the discipline. Can you imagine? And that's not your responsibility, but because you got dragged into it, it became your responsibility. That's how I'm understanding it. Is that right, Holy Spirit? Can you bring us some confirmation? That's absolutely right. The disorder is here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The five of wands, conflict, drama, chaos. And look, the, eight, the ace of cups, you brought in the order, the peace, the happiness. Ace of cups is you. Literally, it's like you stepped into some sort of house, establishment, institution, community, neighborhood, organization, uh, company, corporation, something like that. And um, there was disorder and you were the one who brought in order, but it wasn't your responsibility. But you you carried the cross for this person pretty much. You know, you took on their burdens. You handled their responsibility. And I feel like you didn't do it because you just want to be Mother Teresa, right? You did it because it was affecting you too. And you probably saw that it was affecting other people. You are the um, authority figure here, it looks like. My question is, who are the people who are supposed to be taking accountability for this? They're here as the full card. Tell us more. The full card is all about taking risk. And let me see. The Empress is here. This person, it's a feminine energy who is responsible for this, by the way. They're also here as the Two of Wands. They're also here as the two of wands. Um, the two of wands represents carrying out a plan. Then the, the empress is here. 
I feel like this person is trying to run away. I feel like she she has an escape plan. So the Empress is typically a mature woman, maybe even a mother, mother, mother figure. Um, she's showing up as the fool. She is the one who is supposed to be managing the situation and keeping order, but she wasn't doing her job. Yeah, she was not doing her job at all. Um, I keep on seeing with the two of wands, she's trying to see how she can get out of this trouble here because the blame is definitely shifting on her and she does have a hand in this. The Nine of Cups. There's something that this woman's doing. Like she's trying to pin, pin the hmm, Ace of Pentacles. She's trying to pin the, 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 the problem on other people. This woman is like a puppet master. There's something here that she's trying to do. Holy Spirit, please expose this woman. You have the Emperor. Hmm. Clarify the Emperor, the Four of Pentacles. Somebody here is very, clarify the Emperor. The Emperor, the Four of Pentacles could be someone who has an attachment to a person, place, or thing. Could even represent someone who's like greedy, selfish. Clarify this Emperor. I want to make sure that I'm reading him right. Clarify this Emperor, Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Clarify this emperor. Who is this emperor? Who's this emperor? Holy Spirit. Everything is fine. There's something about this emperor that I feel five of swords, you see? <sighs> this emperor is the one with like the power and authority. He's here as a four of pentacles though, and I'm trying to wonder why. This man may have an attachment to a person, place, or thing, and then the emperor card is here, and the emperor, the emperor represents someone who's very, um, or not someone, but it represents hard work that brings success. I feel like this man's very attached to his money. Like he's very attached to his success. It's like, He's really career focused. That's all that he really thinks about. <clears throat> Everything is fine and five of swords is here. Hmm, I'm one, I wanna read this better. What needs to be known about this emperor? I wanna read this better. Holy Spirit, please expose this emperor here. The star card. Tell us about this emperor. Tell us about this emperor. Because there was so much disorder. I'm like, did nobody see this? Where you had to come in and carry the burdens, you know, and get, you were dragged into it. So the people who were responsible, they need to take accountability for it, is what I'm saying. The star and the nine of swords. He's showing up as the star, wish fulfillment, and the Nine of Swords is here. I'm, I don't understand. This, there's something with this Emperor here. Holy Spirit, what, what, what do we need to know about this Emperor? Three of Wands, waiting for your ships to sail in. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. There's something about this emperor here that's very, um, you say, did you see how the three of pentacles came out like this? And look, the moon, deception. I'm gonna make a really big accusation. I could be wrong, but I'm sensing something here. And I feel like he doesn't want it to be exposed. He doesn't want it to be revealed. This emperor, he's strung up as the four of pentacles because he's possessive with the four of pentacles. Like he has attachments. Once you stay in his life, he doesn't want you to leave. And I feel like he had a hand in some of this, some of the things that happened here. Eight of Pentacles, 
eight of pentacles is work but the work that was that was done against you i feel like he has a hand in it look at the five of swords and everything is fine i feel like this man is possessive and i feel like he he definitely knew what was going on but didn't say anything it's like this man here, he is an, an enabler. Like he doesn't have to do the work himself. He allows the people to do the dirty work, but he doesn't stop them. You were dragged into a messy situation. The troublemakers were enabled by this emperor. The troublemakers were enabled by this emperor here, he knew, but he turned a blind eye to it. And he can say that he didn't know anything because he wasn't the one who did the dirty work, right? But he had an influence. Look at this, uh, five of swords. There's jealousy here. More so, not envy where like he wants something that you have, but jealousy as in, I don't feel like this man. <clears throat> I don't feel like this man wanted you wanted you to receive an opportunity here. He he doesn't like you connecting to other people, places, and things. He just kind of wanted you, he just wants you in this house. And remember, the house could represent an establishment, institution, corporation, you know, company, business, community, neighborhood. Take it how it resonates. But it's like he just wanted you in this house. And he doesn't like to see you connect to other people, places, and things. And so he knew that there were there was disorder. He knew the people here were mis like mistreating you or causing causing you a lot of hardships, a lot of difficulties here. But I feel like he liked that. I feel like he this is like an enabler. Like he wasn't telling them to do it, but in a way he was influencing them to do it. And this is what he doesn't want to be brought to light. This, this man has a troubled side. Like, he's an emperor. He comes off as someone who's very mature and well put together. But inside, mentally, there's chaos. He comes off as someone who has discipline and restraints and, you know, very well put together. But mentally, who knows what's going on in his mind? Because I feel like with the Nine of Swords and the Star card, he really likes you. I feel like he really, really desired you. Nine of Swords and the Star. He really, really desired you, manifested you, and maybe you were interested in him as well. <clears throat> but, but with the, with the three of pentacles in the reverse, I, I he doesn't like you collaborating with other people. I think you wanted to, I feel like maybe you were waiting on something. Three of Wands even represents teamwork. Perhaps you were looking forward to collaborating with another person, place, or thing, or you were looking forward to an opportunity that, you know, you could start a new beginning. And I don't feel like he wanted that for you. I don't feel like he wanted that for you. Page of Cups and the King of Pentacles. He's not saying something here. He's not saying something here. Something about this man is hidden. The Page of Cups, King of Pentacles. I feel like he's very selfish, very self-centered, very possessive. And it's like he wants it to just be you and him no 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 third parties no connecting with other people what needs to be known about this emperor you know what card tried to show up 14 it just didn't flip over and then look six the storm card which is all about fog like not being able to see things clearly. He's the one who's behind this. 
Oh my gosh. When you find out, and he was hoping that it won't be, that you won't be able to trace it back to him because he got people to do the dirty work. Like number six, clouds, number six, I am dark on one side and light on the other. Conflicts and doubts I am sure to bring. You will not be able to see clearly. I will block your perception and let confusion reign. This is a man who's romantically interested in you, but doesn't know how to act. He doesn't know how to behave himself. I feel like it's such a strong, deep love that it could be obsessive at times, like wanting to completely possess and control a person. And then you have 14. Fourteen is Fox. When I am not your job, I am your red flag for some deviousness going on. Look around your circle in your hall. I might be planning your fall. I am master of manipulation and I'm going to fool you all. Craftiness is my fame and sneaky sneaky is my game. He comes off like look at how responsible he looks. The emperor. Lots of self-control and he's mature. And it, you know, he comes off like a well put together individual, but there's a side to him. He, he knows how to influence your life indirectly by getting people to do things to you. What else needs to be known about this emperor? He's a snake, number seven. I can't make this up. But again, he... He, he knows how to get people to do things without having to directly tell them to do it. You know, he knows how to influence people. And so then when it doesn't go his way, he can act shocked and surprised and, and say that he didn't know what was going on and that he didn't tell them to do that, but he influenced them to do it. Um... This man has like a good and bad side. He hasn't chosen which side though. Like, you know, everyone has their good and bad side. I, I feel like with him, he hasn't really chosen good. He hasn't chosen good. He hasn't, it's like he stays neutral and to get what he wants, he doesn't mind going into his shadow side to get what he wants. It's like, he's not good, he's not evil, he's neutral, but when it comes to getting what he wants, he doesn't mind getting into that shadow side. You know, he hasn't chosen, the, he hasn't chosen good officially yet. He has not chosen the side of good. He's 14 Fox, sneaky, sneaky, trickster, and he's also showing up as number seven. I knew it. But he has this thing, he has a way of like coming off as innocent, like he doesn't know what's going on, but he's the one behind it. Number seven is the snake card. <sighs> this is your lover that's doing this. Number seven, snake. Watch out for me because I am always hiding. You can never trust or believe me. I am cheating, deceiving, and will betray you in a heartbeat. Be careful where you are treading. My fangs will surely have you dreading. Yeah, betrayals like it's him it's the emperor he is the puppet master here and everybody else is just doing his dirty work as he's sitting back acting like he doesn't know anything i feel like this is a man who has power and influence and he is interested in you he's very interested in you and he has this thing about him where he likes to possess things. This may even be, I believe he showed up as the king of pentacles. Mm -hmm. He shows up as the, the king of pentacles. Like he may have a lot of money. I feel like he's, an, he's a business owner of some kind. 
This may even be someone who has a lot of possessions, like maybe they own a lot of property in this house, establishment, institution being one of them. And so he brings that mentality, he brings that mentality into his love life, where as a businessman, he owns things. And so when he's in love, he likes to own his lover. He likes ownership and it, he comes off as very um, possessive. Yeah, he comes off as very possessive and he wants ownership. This is um, this man is very selfish, extremely selfish. I wouldn't classify him as like evil or wicked, but you know, we all have had this, like everyone, nobody's born perfect, right? We all have our flaws. And those of us who are awakened, remember who, remember the kind of person that you were before you became awakened. These are humanistic things. It's human nature to be jealous and possessive and, you know, controlling and selfish and stuff like that and stuff like that. But then there comes a point, there comes a point in time where you have to choose to be disciplined and obedient and put aside your selfish wants and desires in order to honor God, in order to be a good person. Right. There comes a, and that's really what that's truly what God asks of us. We're humans and uh, we will make mistakes. We're not perfect. But when we strive to be perfect in the eyes of God and honor him, that's what God is looking for. Our willingness. There's no greater way to honor God than putting aside your selfish wants and desires and obeying him and doing what's right. That takes a lot of self-control. And it takes a very strong bond with God. And so this man is very humanistic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying it's like he's neutral. He's not evil. Um, he's decent. <laughs> he's neutral. And he doesn't mind playing dirty to get what he wants. Okay? He's extremely humanistic. And um, he can't be doing this. He can't be doing this. These people who you encountered who caused you trouble, it's like these are his puppets. These are his children here. They mimic, they display exactly who he is. He won't say it though. It's like a parent complaining about a misbehaving child. Okay, where did that child learn the misbehavior from? The parent. I feel like this man is out of control. I feel like this man, um, he has fallen in love and it, it scares him. He doesn't know what to do. Um, where he comes from in his world, you just buy things and you own it. But you can't bring that sort of mentality into a relationship because you can't buy people. You have to, and you can't pay someone to love you. Love is the most natural force within the universe. It's naturally flowing. So he can't force you to stay. He has to give you a reason to stay. And the only way you will stay is by him treating you right, not by him trying to indirectly influence your life. He's been controlling you by controlling your surroundings. Yeah, he's been controlling you He's been controlling you by controlling your surroundings. And he's been sending people to do things. And he's been creating like the cloud. He's been creating confusion. Um, so that you won't know that it's him. It's like you have to get past all of his misbehaving children, right? The emperor, these are his, mis even if he doesn't have kids, the people here in this house or establishment, institution, company, community, they are all under his influence. So it's like he's sending his misbehaving kids towards you. Then you have to get past all of them to see who the, the troublemaker is. And it's this emperor. But you would never know because this man comes off as somebody who's so well put together superficially. 
He doesn't even know how to tell you that he likes you. He's used to people doing what he says. He's used to people doing what he says because these are his employees. Like he pays you, so you got to do what he says. But with you, <laughs> with you, you're a free will person. You may even be very independent. You may even have your own, you know, you may not have, you may have your own money. And even if it's not the amount that he has, you're happy with what you have. So you're not phased by this man at all. I feel like he likes you a lot, a lot, lot, lot. That's why he's doing these things. The Page of Cups, the Page of Cups is someone who is a secret admirer, but he doesn't know how to say it and he's hoping that he can attract you by his wealth. King of Pentacles is very financially well off. He's hoping, he's hoping that he can attract you by his wealth that that's what will draw you in but you're not interested in that he has to give you a reason to be interested in you in him and not his money there is a lot that this man has been doing and um we're definitely going to expose it all because enough with the games you know there needs to be transparency within any romantic within any connection any partnership so we're going to continue this reading in the extended um get a get a glass of ice water because i think you're going to be really upset at some of the things um that we will uncover but just know that you are protected and What's for you is for you. And he's going to have to pursue you the right way, the ethical way, the genuine way. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. The link to the extended will be in the, in the description box. It'll also be pinned in the comment section. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I truly appreciate your support. Please take care, everyone, and many blessings to you.